welcome to Saturday morning. It's been a, a solid two weeks since we've been up, and I apologize for that. We've had a busy, uh, busy couple weeks here with the start of schools going on and things like that. So, but uh, to this morning, we are actually heading out to Crystal River. Um, we are going to go check out one of the places that was recommended by one of the subscribers. Uh, Jet Steve Arrow 8529, I believe it is. This is his handle, but I appreciate the uh, the suggestion. So we're going to head out to Crystal River and check out Cody's Roadhouse. Um, so let's go ahead and get our clearance so that we can get out of here. Simi Ground, Cherokee, November 9032 Whiskey at Billmar with information Lima requesting taxi for a west departure. Cherokee 9032 Whiskey, Kissimmee Ground Taxi, Foxtrot Bravo, runway 6. Copy, Foxtrot Bravo, runway 6, 9032 Whiskey. Good job. Kissimmee Tower, November 9032, Whiskey, holding short of runway 6, ready for departure. I'm taking to make a right turn on Alpha Taxi Ramp, monitor the ground. Right turn on Alpha Taxi Ramp, monitor the ground for 1958 Hotel. 9032, Whiskey, hold short for landing traffic. Holding short for landing traffic. Holding short for landing traffic, November 9032, Whiskey. Nine zero three two whiskey. The Cessna has been in the right traffic pattern. Keep him aside. Runway six flip take off. Make a left turn. Out. Thank you. Copy clear for takeoff and make a left turn out for nine zero three two whiskey. Have the Cessna in sight. Yeah, it's the one in front of us. All right, you ready to go? Bye, good land gooder. Bye, good. Land gooder. I love you. I love you. All right, ready to do this? Good day to fly. Yes, it is. All right, let's take it to 1800. There we go, 1800. Me tower, we got three in the green. Four alpha at six. Come on, line. Let's hit goes. the power. Five, five, two, four, alpha, only six. Let's There's take off. Right five. Let's go ahead. Clear for takeoff. Right traffic. Five, five, two, four, alpha. schools today. Uh, oh, trim this down a little bit. We've had a couple of people comment how it's cool that, you know, like I want to be involved in everything else. And somebody said to me not too long ago that, you know, like, well, what would you do in case of an emergency? So I had to think about that a lot. Um, and at least I know how to talk on the radio in case that happens, but I don't know. Some people ask you, like, you know, isn't it weird flying up there? Aren't you, don't you get claustrophobic? But I don't, the first time when I looked at the plane, it looked like a Mini Cooper with wings. And that was a little, <laughs> a little disturbing, but I don't know. Once you get up here, it's wide open. I think it's safer than being down there on I-4 right now. So, uh, yes, I want to learn how to at least know what to do in case of emergency. Uh, do I want to be a pilot? No. 
I want to be up here and take pictures. And I think it's cool when we fly over some of the schools that I work with. Although they are not as good as some of those drone pictures, I still think it's cool to fly over schools and send pictures to, you know, the people that I work with. So, but... Can't knock it until you try it, so at least get up here and give it a shot. Exactly. Never know until you try, right? Right. A little too technical for me as far as some of these gauges, but at least in case of emergency, yeah, I can call for help. And even if I don't want to fly, I can... Look at my iPad and get to me tower, Sirius 190, Charlie. See where that traffic is and in for a full stop at runway. And we have yeah, some assistance as a wingman. Right now on runway six, report no. me too. What did you call yourself the other day? The uh, a white report wingman. White wingman. Uh, six 190, Charlie. Two props start driving. White wingman. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. It was fun this week too. Um, one of the district leadership. Two. I had my other headset on. And uh, it was like, is that the headset you wear for flying? And so I know she had seen the videos, which is pretty cool, too. Well, I got to tell you, we did have a problem this morning, though. So we were getting the plane ready. And we started getting, yeah, we, we were under attack. The uh, There were ants everywhere. And I got bit three times. Would you get twice? I got a good one on the finger, which... I mean, isn't as bad. I get usually some good allergic reactions if I get them on my leg. On the west ramp, departure to the south. So. All right. So over at Crystal River, we are actually in. Um, we are in IFR right now, and this is what we're flying into. Um, we're coming from this. That's kind of wide open back over there. But you can see as we start heading, we're heading out to Brooksville first, and then we're going to fly the coast and head up the Crystal River. But you can see out there the uh, clouds are pretty thick over top. So um, hopefully it'll clear up by the time we get over there. It says that, according to the weather, it says that it's supposed to be uh, gone by 11. And we plan on landing somewhere around 1030, 1045-ish. So that's what we're. That's what we have to work with right now. And let me out here. It's all fields. In between Orlando and Brooksville is all fields. Basically, as soon as we got to the west of uh, 27, it's nothing but traffic until you get to 27, and then as soon as you get west of 27, it is nothing but green and lakes. One call Kilo, I believe I turned left instead of right. Our, our next weekend off, we were actually considering uh, flying again. However, uh, the flight was going to be to Maine, and we were looking at uh, we have an event to go to up in Maine, and it was a I want to say I think it it was about a seven or eight hour trip. Yeah. Hey Dennis, I'm going to start going down through this hole up here with uh, fuel stops, and it was going to probably quadruple the cost it would have been to uh, fly on a, smooth up here. On a it is. Gonna airliner yeah, and rent a plane, or like rent a car. So, uh, yeah, next weekend, yeah, we will not be uh, an aircraft that's 400 feet below us getting ready to cross right underneath of us. I see it. I got him. No yeah. factor. He's right off the wing tip. So, anyways, our next weekend trip is going to be up in in Maine, and unfortunately, we will not be flying nine zero three two whiskey. And we're getting on one of those big airlines that nickel and dime you for air. Uh, another shout out: we had our first sale for a J two POV shirt. Yep, first shout out uh, for Chris Sabelli. Chris Abelli, if you're watching, thank you very much for the shirt purchase. Uh, we appreciate it very much. Helps us support the channel a little bit. Uncle Sam appreciates it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
And if you uh, if you haven't seen it yet, we do have the J2 POV swag shop uh, is open. Uh, the link is down in the con in the uh, notes section below. We're actually flying to meet Lauren, uh, who is what's his RV Aviator. He's RV the green Aviator. Yeah, it's the green, green RV 12. Uh, we got a shirt for him too. Is, I think uh, you should take a picture of that. Of what? Uh, we're going to switch over to yeah. the now. Of what? Because it's actually Mickey Mouse ears on there, too. Well, uh, kind of. I mean, it throws an extra... It uh, throws an extra airspace in over on the side. You can't go anywhere in Florida without running into Mickey ears. Yeah, out here you could probably walk. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, you probably walk halfway out. Uh, probably until about here. I don't know. It's. I don't know. Like, if you've got the same thing, I got all yellow. Look, Mom, I'm over the water. <laughs> Joe, you up? Yeah, that's correct. We just got over uh, Brooksville. We're heading out over the water and turning back and heading north. Roger that. We just got off. It's on. Can you show them? All right. What do you say we drop down a little bit? Are we going to buzz the tower or what? This is something we were talking about, too, is uh, um, we're building up to be able to go to the Bahamas. Uh, so... I'm working on that. Can you uh, go ahead and get my crystal river frequencies? I need to get ATIS. Uh, Detail? Or no? What's the matter? Detail? So ATIS or AWOS or? AWOS is 118.325. You got that? Which one? The uh, you can do the top one. This one? Yeah. Use the big knob to go to one one eight. And then two five? Is that right? Is that what I said? I don't know. All right. Three two five. One one eight three two. Alright. Now I need you to hit this is C1, this is C2. So go ahead and hit C1. Nope, on the bottom. Nope. And then switch it over to this side so that we can hear it. Perfect. Crystal River Airport. Automated weather observation. One, four, two, six, Zulu. Weather. Wind. One, zero, zero, at five. Visibility. One, zero. Ceiling, 1,000, broken, temperature, 2, 8, Celsius, 2.24, altimeter, 3, 0, 1, 1, and mark. 3, 0, 1, 1. So 3, 0, 1, 1. All right. So what's the um, CTOM? 122.725. Don't do that one. Okay. On the next one. This one? Yep. Automated weather observation. One, four, two, eight, Zulu, weather, wind, zero, eight, zero, at five, visibility, one, zero, ceiling. Switch it over. Thousand, broken, temperature. Look at all these little water communities. Crystal River traffic, Renegade 385 Golf, phase two my final, runway zero nine. be super cool until hurricanes either. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Wow, look at them all tearing out on the channel over here. All the boats are uh, zooming out. That is a big channel.
It is really shallow here. And that's where we're heading. Traffic RV 12, 5 to the southwest. Inbound for landing. Runway 06. Beautiful. Beautiful coastline flight. Fire track here, Cherokee 2 is here, Tango 24, climb 25. Does that though look like it's leaning? Like it's. Like it's sitting on the ground. Yes. Oh my goodness. Chris River traffic, green white RV, five miles to the east at 1,100 feet, setting up for a left downward for Niner. Chris River. Chris River traffic, blue and white Cherokee 9032 Whiskey, it's 10 miles to the south. We'll be setting up to enter a right base for runway 09 off the coast. Chris River traffic. Chris River traffic, green and white RVs, face the final niner, Chris River. Chris River traffic, blue and white Cherokees entering a right, a long right base for runway nine, Chris River traffic. Chris River traffic, green and white RVs, off the exit at Alpha One. Chris River traffic, blue and white Cherokees on a, a one mile final for runway nine, Chris River traffic. Airspeed's good. Tent rate's good. RPMs are good. Crystal traffic. Two seven one November Juliet. Taxiing back to the active hold short, runway 09 from the FBO. This was the first place that we came to after you had gotten your pilot's license. We were doing rentals at the time, but this is the first place we ever came. Uh, just the two of us. Yeah, that's right. Well, it's not any different well, right now. No, but I'm just saying, that we're that's over a year and a half later. Or coming back. Chris River traffic, blue and white Cherokees exiting runway 09 on Alpha 2. Chris River traffic. You didn't jinx me this time with fly good, land better. <laughs> that was. What? Yeah, I what? I didn't know such thing. What? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Will you Are steer you for me? Oh. Oh. Wait oh, yeah, it's pedals. I don't know if I can reach right now. Well, slide forward. Thank you. Uh, okay. Keep it in the center. You got it? Thank oh, you. Oh, no. <laughs> you got it or no? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Thank you. Oops. Oh. Yeah, don't get a sobriety test when we get up here. Left. Just try to keep the nose right in the middle. Left. Oh. oh. Left? Yeah. Right. Just okay. kind of... Are you supposed to push them both at the same time? No, you're not. Oh. You can let your foot off a little bit, off the pressure, and just tap whichever way it needs to go. Oh, there's a shoe show across the street. Pressure over traffic, 211 by Julia, departs leg, sunway zero. You go shopping. Left toes button. You got it? Yeah. They call it it. Why are you slowing down? There's a speed limit. We're going too fast. Oh. Cody's original roadhouse. Traffic to one one November Juliet base to final runway zero nine. 
Uh, we need an XL though, right? Let's do something to eat. Let's do it. Okay, there's the, uh, the ramp over there. There's our aircraft down in the end. You just walk down here, over here to the to the FBO. And it's a nice FBO. It's clean. My wife won't go with me. We've gotten a couple of those. Okay, well, our Uber driver just dropped us off over to Cody's. And uh, this is, this seems like a nice restaurant. Good place to go. Thank you, sir. And my Uber driver. All right, let's go get something to eat in here. We're with our RV aviator today. Hey, thanks for joining along with us today on this trip to Crystal River over to Cody's Roadhouse. Steve Arrow 8259. Again, thank you for this recommendation. Uh, the food was excellent. The service was awesome here. Apparently, this is like a miniature franchise throughout Florida. Uh, they have delicious barbecue here. Justin had the pulled pork sandwich and I had the barbecue ribs. And our friends had the steak sandwich, uh, which all of them were very good. Our server was Andy. She did an awesome job taking care of us. Uh, the ambiance in this restaurant is great. Listen, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the flight on over. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget we do have that J2 POV swag shop. So if you're interested in... Uh, some swag. Chris Sabelli, again, thanks a lot for being our first customer and purchasing that shirt. I uh, hope you guys uh, will join us on part two for this when we head back to Kissimmee and we'll stop at Winter Haven and get some fuel and uh, then make our return trip before the storms come in. So thanks for tagging along and hope to see you on the next one.